Uh, now I have the pleasure of introducing Elliot Lee, who is a staff software engineer at Ripple. Uh, Elliot has done an amazing job with the XRPL grants program, and he's going to talk a little bit more about it. About a decade ago, I was backpacking around the world, and I went to Malaysia, where I stayed at a youth hostel, and there I met a fellow traveler named Keith. We sat on the couch in the common room, talking tech, and after a while, he asked me that fateful question. Have you heard of Bitcoin? No, I said, what's that? The cryptocurrency had just appeared on Slashdot. And I'm curious, have, do any of you remember the, uh, how you first discovered cryptocurrency? Just a quick show of hands. If you're watching virtually, uh, feel free to type something into the chat. Cool, so yeah, you all kind of remember this pivotal moment. We were intrigued, and we went down the rabbit hole. I installed Bitcoin QT on my laptop, I even clicked on the Mine Coins button in the application menu, although my machine was far too slow to ever find a block. I attended the San Francisco Bitcoin meetups for a couple of years and got to know a lot of the, a lot of the developers in the community at the time. I was amazed by the variety of projects that developers were building. From there, I went to work at Kraken, the cryptocurrency exchange, and then at Braintree, the PayPal company that had just acquired Venmo a couple of years prior. I spent a couple of years building SDKs and libraries integrating developers with the payments platform, coding in JavaScript, initially helping their merchants to integrate with Coinbase, and then with Apple Pay on the web. But despite all the excitement around the crypto community back then, the activity and the innovation around the XRP ledger today is much more exciting and much greater than what, I, what drew me first into the crypto community back then. So let me tell you, you are in the right place here at Apex today. The range of independent projects that developers are building is a lot broader, and the community is seeing a lot more traction than ever before. Just like we heard from Alexis earlier, we've reached this tipping point in just the past couple of years. I'm Elliot Lee, and I'm honored to support the developer community by helping to lead XRPL grants. The work that I'm doing now is some of the most exciting that I've ever been involved in, and I've been helping to do engineering around the XRP ledger for the last four years. Blockchain technology is built on a foundation of open source technology, open source software, and standards that are proposed by anyone in the world, and then well vetted by people out in the community. The paradox is that while there are investment dollars sloshing around, there are also a lot of foundational needs. There's no clear business model for public goods. Many cutting edge features, experiments, innovative libraries, educational resources, and other building blocks don't have a business model. In other words, a lot of these really crucial and important efforts don't directly make money, especially not in the early years. And although we love to see organic growth and volunteer developers, the reality is that a lot of developers, as you know, can't afford to always work for free. Virtually every blockchain, including Bitcoin, has one or more developer grant programs. So whether you're thinking of Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, any other blockchain, they all have grant programs. Some of these programs have been hugely successful and effective in galvanizing and supporting developers, inspiring them to explore and cement new, new use cases. So grants are planting the seeds and watering the gardens of independent developers. Grants are fueling independent organizations and development teams, all working to advance the technology, innovating at every layer of the stack from layer one on up. So who are we looking for? Who should apply for a grant? Well, there are some 50 million developers on GitHub. That's a pretty large pool. <laughs> XRPL Grants is focused on these developers, and we're especially interested in individuals in small development teams, maybe one to four developers, rather than companies or huge content providers. These companies have, in many cases, other options for funding. And in fact, the NFT Content Fund announced today is a great opportunity for a lot of these uh, content providers and um, NFT creators. But often, grassroots, developer, grassroots developers get left behind, and that's why we have XRPL grants. You could be doing great work as part of a company, but what we want to know when it comes to the grants program is how are you contributing to the wider community? Are you contributing to open source software? Are you fixing bugs, suggesting new features? Are you helping others by answering questions, sharing ideas, participating on Reddit or Discord? We're looking for developers who are involved in the community in this way, and are interested in the XRP Ledger technology. As you all know, there is a large and growing community around the XRP Ledger, and that's why we're all here, and that's why you're watching me right now. 
You have relevant and contextual insights into the leading edge of communities and markets that you are a part of. Maybe you have a creative or clever take on something that would make people's lives easier or more fun. So what are we looking for in a proposal? Well, developers are often most productive and effective when they're excited and personally believe in the project that they're working on. That's why helping developers to work on their own ideas through grants is so powerful. So these are the ideas that you are passionate about and we want to hear about them. So what do you think would enhance the XRP ledger? What excites you to build on the XRPL? We want to hear about your ideas and the things that you have relevant experience in. While each wave of grants has a theme or a focus, we always remain open to any project building on the XRP ledger. You direct the scope and the focus area of your proposal, and as long as you meet that core requirement of contributing to the XRP ledger and the internet of value, we want to see your proposal. Do keep in mind, though, that the grant, grants program is not making investments. So unlike some of the investments that, for example, RippleX has made in the past, XRPL Grants is not taking equity in projects, and we don't necessarily need to see how you're going to make money or directly achieve an ROI. In reviewing applications, we sometimes saw some applications that seemed more suited for a venture investment, and in some cases, they were so far along, even $100,000 didn't seem like it would make a difference. So we're really interested in projects that are perhaps at earlier stage and ones that involve open source software. So in other cases, some projects involved completely proprietary software. We're really looking for a project that's either entirely open source or has a key open source component. Because although, while, while the XRP ledger is an open public blockchain, when it comes to grants, we're really looking for projects that are early stage and can really uh, benefit from uh, a grant of our, of our scale. So the, the scale of a grant is really around uh, 10,000 up to 200,000 US dollars. And the size of the grant that we award really depends on the team's track record, their progress so far, the scope of the project, and how you're planning to use the funds. The bar is higher for those larger grants, but if it's an ambitious project where you can demonstrate that you're likely to succeed, we want to hear about it, and we love to see those bigger requests. As far as the timeline of your project, we're looking for projects roughly around six months in planned duration. We do make some exceptions for larger projects, maybe seven to 11 months. But in most cases, we'd like to see a clear deliverable kind of in that six month time frame. So what makes for a really great project idea? Well, you can see the points here. Number one, we want to see a project that is supportive of the XRPL community as a whole. And that means it helps users, it enables new use cases, or it improves, improves the technology in a fundamental way. And two, we want to see open source projects. So these provide the building blocks and serve as learning resources for others in the community who want to look under the hood and see how things work. Other developers can create their own forks. They can apply changes and really see how things work. Three, we want to support ambitious projects with outsized potential impact. Sometimes this means a high leverage idea where you're integrating the XRP ledger with another industry or a community that you are familiar with. Kind of like Alexis was saying earlier, it's about connecting with the real world. There are myriad new ways that the XRP ledger can be useful, ways that we haven't thought of, but you have. And we want to see projects with grand but sensible visions of the future. Each project is unique and has different goals, so there's no one metric that we look for. But the core principle is that we want to serve the, the future of the Internet of Value by funding the broader developer community around the XRPL. So what does our program timeline look like? Wave one is well underway. We received over 100 high-quality applications, over 60% of which were from outside of the US. We carefully read and evaluate every application, and then we invited the finalists to interview with us face-to-face -face on Zoom. The interview is really our chance to get to know who you are, what motivates you, and understand your project. We get a demo or a presentation about what you're proposing, and we ask a whole bunch of questions. From that initial group in wave one, we selected 25 grantees, which we just announced last week. And in addition to funding the grant, we aim to provide support in coding and development uh, if needed. We also connect each grantee with a technical mentor, someone to serve as the grantee's first point of contact when it comes to technical questions or issues about the XRP ledger. In wave one, we saw a few themes, non-fungible tokens or NFTs, uh, a few projects through Ubri, the University Blockchain Research Initiative, and quite a few open source projects. So we had 25 amazing projects receive grants from all across the world. 
And alphabetically, we, had, we have grantees from Australia, Brazil, Chile, the UK, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, the Philippines, Sweden, Switzerland, and of course, here in the USA. And many of them are here at Apex. You actually just heard from Mo Morsi. He's working on a really exciting new project, Ledger City, on top of the XRP Ledger. And you can look forward to hearing from Matt Rosenden coming up next, Francis Rosario, Joseph Kiyoki, Greg Hannum. And there are so many others who you, who, you, who you will be hearing from in the weeks and months ahead. And as a sneak preview, I'm delighted to share that we will start collecting applications for wave two of XRPL grants tomorrow. Grantees will be announced by the end of the year with most of the projects in development over the first half of 2022. So if you wanna work on a project in that time frame, you should think of applying. Here are a few fields on the application form. One, will your project be open source, either entirely or some component of it? Two, your elevator pitch. In fact, we want you to really get down to what's most important about your project and describe it in 100 words or less. Three, who and what will your project enable? So these are the things the, com the committee is looking for. Uh, does your project help the XR XRPL community to grow? Do you as an applicant have relevant skills or experience or high leverage experience that will really allow this project to have a large impact? And last, is the team ambitious and dedicated to the long-term success of the technology? Part of that might be participating in the XRP Ledger network in other ways, like running the Ripple D client that Mo was uh, talking about earlier. If you've applied to wave one, but we've had to decline your application, you're welcome to revise and reapply in wave two. This is an ongoing program. We plan to do about three waves of grants every year, so a new wave roughly every four or five months. And hopefully we continue this for years, possibly even decades. Furthermore, prior grantees who have achieved their milestones will be welcome to apply for a follow-on grant to take on more work in the future. This journey is a marathon, not a sprint, and we're just in the first mile getting started. So here's the team behind this. We have Julia Heidner, Julia Heidner, our first grant administrator, who has been doing amazing work getting all of this organized and improving our processes and procedures. And we're hiring for several new roles, including another program manager and two or three front end or full stack software engineers to improve our website, iterate on the technical processes, introduce more automation, work on other developer programs and developer growth initiatives, and to help our grantees. The judging committee is currently composed of Matt Hamilton, Ali from XRPL Labs, myself, and a few more judges who will be announced soon. We are looking for these new hires and for, for, new, for more judges. So if you're interested, or if you know someone who might be, please let us know. Email us at info at xrplgrants.org. And last, a few action items. If you'd like to join the team or be a judge, send us an email, as I mentioned. Uh, just curious, anyone going to send us an email? Anyone interested in <laughs> uh, maybe applying for a grant, talking with us about being a judge or joining the team? If you're interested in, uh, and you're joining us virtually, type something into the chat. Think about whether you'd like to apply for a grant. Talk with Matt Hamilton or myself about your idea. Uh, as you know, we've been on the, the Twitch live stream, taking Q&A there, and we'd be happy to give you our thoughts. Please subscribe to our email list. You can find the, the box at the bottom of xrplgrants.org and get started working on your application. You can start in your own Google Doc and perhaps copy and paste your responses into the final form. And, uh, and next, learn about and support the grantees. Uh, xrplgrants.org slash grantees. Has anyone had a chance to take a look at that webpage yet? Just a quick show of hands. <laughs> All right, who, ha who has not had a chance to take a look at the grantees yet? All right, so I think um, more folks haven't had a chance to take a look at it. So here's an action item for you. xrplgrants.org slash grantees. Take a look at it sometime today or tomorrow. Um, a lot of really exciting projects going on. And as mentioned, we're adding to the judging committee, so if you're interested, please reach out. Last and least, feel free to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great time here at Apex.